So I grew up in a fairly normal family by any outside judgment. We lived a happy middle-class life until um, when I was 11, um, my dad died by suicide. And um, that really upended my entire world. And eventually I, I made a choice that I just needed to get out. So I went to the U University of Washington in Seattle. Uh, that's where um, my own uh, struggles with mental health really started to manifest. I had never felt that depth of despair before or loneliness, and I didn't know what to do with it. Just uh, continued to, to drink and use drugs the way that uh, I had been, and uh, that eventually devolved into um, a situation where I was living homeless on the streets of Washington, D.C. And I was so isolated from everyone else in the world, I felt like I had no one that loved or cared about me and that I was all alone. You know, prior to that point, um, I'd always thought that suicide was a, was a selfish act because, you know, as a kid, that's how I constructed it, you know, with, with my, my father's suicide. Having now had that experience myself of um, been to that point where I, you know, got, got so disconnected, so depressed and isolated and alone that I would be doing everyone that I knew a favor by ending my own life. Um, I thought that people would be better off without me. Much to my dismay, I woke up from that. Um, I, didn't, uh, I didn't die. And just out of sheer coincidence, I, um, a, a friend from high school called me a few days later and said, just, you know, hey, Evan, how are you doing? You know, want to check in? And, and it was the first time I got really honest with someone and told them what was going on. Because there is a huge sea of people who really understand what it's like who have been there themselves and um, who felt have felt just as isolated and different and alone as I have ever felt. I'm just one of many people that feel that level of isolation, that level of loneliness. That alone can be a point of connection. It can be a point of healing. We're kind of like the the um, the survivors of a shipwreck. That you know, everyone. It doesn't matter who you are. We're all celebrating the fact that we made it here. We're still alive when we made it through a very difficult time in our lives and we can do it together.